Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I've got a new one for you guys. Did you know that you can control your Fire TV stick without your Fire Stick remote? I know a lot of people, the batteries die, you're scrambling for batteries, or maybe it stops working, you break it. Well, now you're in a bind, what do you do? I know a lot of people will just download the Fire TV app, but that's not always convenient to grab your phone and try to connect it and sync it up. And if you're using a VPN, you can't even do it. So what do you do? Well, that's what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. You don't need the Fire Stick remote, guys, to control your Fire TV stick. We'll talk about that in today's video. Stay tuned. So why am I doing this video? I've had a lot of questions recently about issues with the remotes on the Fire TV stick. The batteries are dying too quick. It stopped working, I dropped it on my floor. What do I do? I'm in a bind, I can't use my Fire Stick. I wanna throw it away. Guys, don't throw it away. You can control your Fire TV stick with a regular universal remote. In fact, my TV remote works with the Fire Stick. And all you need to do is change one setting on your Fire TV stick and you can control all the functions of your Fire Stick with a regular remote. You don't even need the Fire TV Stick remote anymore. So let me show you how to do that. Let's get on the TV. All right guys, I got you on the home screen here. So what I'm gonna show you right now is where on your Fire TV Stick to enable this feature. Now this feature again is going to allow you to control your Fire TV Stick with just a regular universal remote, whether it's your TV remote or a third party universal remote. So you're gonna go over to settings in the far right hand side. You're gonna go down, you're gonna go over to display and sounds. I know a lot of you didn't even know this is a feature that is available, but it is available for the Fire TV Stick and it's really cool. So it's called HDMI CEC device control right here. Again, it is on under display and sounds right here under HDMI CEC device control. So once you turn that on, if you look at the right hand side, it actually tells you what it does. It allows your Fire TV Stick Max to send a signal over your HDMI that it powers on your TV and AVR when woken from sleep or when the home button is pressed. Depending on your TV, this may include additional features and capabilities such as allowing your TV's remote to control your Amazon Fire TV Stick. Now this is really important guys because you don't power your Fire TV Stick off uh, when you turn your TV off. But if you enable this feature, that is one of the things that it will do. It will also control all the functions of your Fire TV Stick without your Fire TV Stick remote. Now you just have one universal remote to control everything. So your universal remote could control your uh, sound system if you have that. You can control your TV, your Fire Stick, all your devices with just one remote. I know in the past I've had five or six remotes laying around on the couch. You got to find the right remote for the right function for the right. Guys, you don't have to do that with a Fire TV Stick. Amazon did a good job. Just turn it on right here. So let's go ahead and turn that on. That's all you have to do. Now, let me get my TV remote out. All right, and there we go. Now I am controlling the Fire Stick with my TV remote, my universal TV remote. Now I know not all TVs will, you'll be able to control this with that remote. It has to be one of those universal remotes. Now a lot of the new TVs will have it. Like my Sony I have here works great with the Fire Stick. Even my LG in the other room works really good, but some of the older ones might not. All you need to do is go into Amazon and get like a five or six dollar universal remote. Now you don't have to use any other remotes. And if you want to spend a few more dollars, you can get a voice remote and then it could really replace everything. You can ask for all kinds of things with that universal remote. I'll put links to the ones I like in the description section of this video. But that's it guys. Now I'm controlling my TV with my TV remote and my Fire Stick with my TV remote instead of my Fire Stick remote. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was a quick one. I just wanted to share this with you because I know a lot of people have had issues with the remote and they're, they're trying to figure out how they can control their Fire Stick easier instead of having all these remotes laying around. And I'll, I'm just as guilty. I've had six, seven, eight because I've got Android boxes and stereos and surround sounds and projectors and all these things connected to my devices. So I've got all these remotes, but you don't really need to do that. You really only need one remote. Now I have a Sony one that I use on mainly and then in my other room I have an LG and both of those remotes are going to so on both of those devices, I can control everything. And so why not control my Fire Stick functions as well? You can always control the power. You can always control the volume, but you can't always control all of the little functions without this. So instead of having these, get rid of that. Just use this right here. It works perfectly fine. In fact, I prefer having just one remote. Now, if you, your TV is an older TV, it doesn't have a universal capability, 
I'll, again, I'll put links in the description section of, of some good ones that you can get very inexpensive. It's a lot less expensive to go that route than it is to replace your Fire TV Stick remote. And even if you just give it as a backup, let's say you're using your Fire, your Fire Stick with your regular Fire Stick remote and the battery's dying, you don't have batteries, well, you could just grab your TV remote and use it. So if anything, it's a nice backup to have and very affordable. So if you guys have any questions about this video or any of my other videos, I've got all kinds of help videos on the Fire Stick on this channel, please comment down below. If you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I do appreciate it. And for those of you returning subscribers, thanks for watching our videos. Bye.